Do you know Urban Dictionary? Uh, I'm familiar. So actually, there's an entry on you. Really? It re it's pretty funny. It reads, um, I mean, in, in uh, messing that up. He's a follower of the straight edge way of life. That's true. And he's a really rad dude. Well, all right. Are you rad? I feel like, I don't know. You're pretty rad, I guess. I feel like an all right dude. <laughs> and I'm what's definitely pretty straight edge, though. That one's for sure That's true. Cool. So, and it, it continues. What's pretty funny is actually it reads in interviews. Yep. He's known to be a very friendly person to always be excited or stoked for every show that he plays. That, is that true? I don't know. I wanted to ask you, is that true? You're do interviewing you want to something me. To that? Do you find me pleasant? Well, you know, I think you should do a little, little more. A little Maybe, more? Yeah, you should be friendly. Right, Interview I guess. over. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're a cool dude. Maybe I should start being more of a dick. Yeah, then it would be known. Throw people for a loop. He's known to, know? to be an asshole in interviews. Well, no, yeah. and then, but people are expecting this really nice guy, and then I come in and I'm like a total, like, oh my gosh. You just don't. You know? You want to do a fight right now? No. Okay. I've it's never been in a fight. So you are really out of red. I am a pretty nice guy, I yeah, guess. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do the, the promo thing first. Um, you're releasing Deluxe Edition of That's Head on Living, your phenomenal record. Thank you very much. Congratulations to that. Yeah, it's oh. coming out with a bunch of new songs. So What stoked. kind of songs are those? Uh, they're basically just like extra songs we had from the original recording. So there's four new songs. And then we have five Black Sabbath covers as well that we did. We banged it out in a day. We went and in did. a day? Yeah. Oh my god, cool. We went in the studio. There was some extra guitar stuff that had to happen afterwards, but... Drums, bass, and vocals were all done in three takes. But you know those songs by heart, right? So yeah, we've like, played yeah. them a lot, so it was cool. pretty pretty easy. Once you know it, you know it. With your new record, Dead Side of Living, mm -hmm. you're back on Metal Blade, is that correct? Yeah, in some, I mean, only in America. Okay. Our records come out on tons of different labels all over the place. Okay. So in Austria, it's on a different label. In France and Germany, it's on a different label. Scandinavia, Canada, the UK, okay. Australia, Japan. It's all different. Okay, cool. Uh, do you, did you hear of uh, Protest the Hero? Yeah, I heard about that yesterday when they were doing that fundraising thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that's an option for cancer bets as well in the future, maybe? Uh, I don't think I, we would do anything like that, but I mean, more power to other bands if they want to do it. It's really DIY. It is. It's summer. also like, there's a lot to do for it. Like, I find being in a band is pretty difficult. So when I was looking at all the stuff they have to do, like writing postcards and having pizza parties and it was having... A cool idea. Yeah, it's it's a cool idea. But I was like, man, you guys have got a lot of work to do. Probably had to start a kickstart for just for the video. Yeah, take yeah, a lot yeah. Of money <laughs> so, yeah, I say, you know, kudos to them. Right, cool. It's definitely not something that I think we'll do, but it's cool to see other bands trying different things, you know what I mean? As, like, the standard format of like label band distribution you know now it's kind of like a lot of people doing things on their own mm -hmm. okay cool um so you're doing a lot of shows per year actually yeah so uh, i was figured pretty hard you did six shows uh, once a day yeah we London. did six shows for the that record release cool. in the uk um i figured why don't you take it to the next level and do 365 shows a year um the most we've ever done in a year is 300 and uh, it's pretty brutal. It's definitely one of those things that like you do it and you're like, oh, that was a lot of fun. And you have a lot of memories, but you're pretty beat up and it's pretty tiring. So, yeah, I don't know. There's There are bands like Goldfinger has done like, I want to say it's like 300 and... 390 shows in a year or something like that. So 390? Yeah, they did How's like possible? they did a bunch of sh like tours where they were doing two shows a day oh, really? type of thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, so there are I mean those dudes are total road dogs. Really? So there's definitely a lot of bands insane. out there that do it, but once you've been there you're kind of like, okay, I don't need to do that again. <laughs> so, uh, you're known to be big hardcore and sludge fans, everyone knows it, but you also know hip hop a lot. Yeah, we were actually we were listening to Danny Brown on really? the drive. Yeah, I love that new Danny Brown record, Triple X. That record's awesome. Nice. Do you happen to know when the term hip hop was uh, uh, coined? The term. Take an elaborate guess. What year, maybe? I don't know. Sometime in the 80s? Uh, a little earlier. Was it earlier than that? 1978. 78 was, was yeah. when the term hip hop I did all was the coined. research. Uh, uh, hit hip hop on Wikipedia. Like. There you go. Nailed it.
Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> so, Who was, coined the term hip hop? Uh, I, get, I have it here. It's Keith Cowboy Vegans from uh, Grand, Le Grand Master Flash and Furious Five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that makes cool. sense. So that was kind of cool. I thought it was more 80s than late 70s, but. Yeah, I thought so too, but. Cool. You never know. New York City. So I was going to ask you, um, Tupac or Notorious B.I.G.? I'm more of a Notorious B.I.G. fan. Can you um, rap like him? Nothing against Tupac. No, I can't rap like Big. But uh, I definitely like, we listen to his records all the time in the van too. More so than Tupac. Tupac, you know, respect. The poet. He holds <laughs> it down. But I was always more of an East Coast. Like growing up in Toronto, yeah. stuff like that. It was like we were always more aligned with like East Coast and that whole scene. So, yeah. So are blase, there any blase, you know. East is in the house. <laughs> Are there any lyrics you can start rapping right now, maybe? Except for Sabotage, of course. Uh, off the top of my head? Man, putting me on the, on the spot. I don't know. Ooh. I can't think of anything. Nothing? Nothing. Uh, Draw a blank. It's like when you go to a record we're store. we got to cut it. It's, not, it, it it's like happen. when you go to a record store and you're like, you can't remember what records you wanted what to buy. The, what was the but while you're driving oh. there, you're like, oh, I'm going to buy this record and this record and this record. And then you get in and you're looking at everything. You're like, man, I can't remember any records I wanted to buy. <laughs> It's like that. If you caught me at another time, if we were just yeah, at merch, could I could probably that. rap better. Next time we'll do an interview. Yeah. Again. Do you, you want to rap? I can, I can do something. He'll rap yeah. for me. Wu-Tang. And I'm going to be in the middle of the camera. It's your interview, man. Hey, no, it's your show. It's not my show. Yeah, it's you're the star. Interview. I'm just a guest. Do you really want me to rap right now? Yeah, rap some Wu-Tang. Yeah, I really do know some Wu-Tang. Do you? Yeah, Go I for do. it. You ready to come to start? Raw, I'ma give it to you with no trivia. Raw like cocaine straight, straight from, from Bolivia. Bolivia. My hip hop a rock and shock your nation. Like the emancipation proclamation. proclamation. We can seize, approach with slang instead. You might as well run to the wall and bang, bang your head. head. I'm pushing forwards, I'm forcing you down in. I'm making the devil's coward to the Caucasus mountains. Well, I'm Messiah. I set the microphone on, on fire. fire. Rap styles vary and carry like, like Mariah. Mariah. I come, come from, from the Shaolin slums, slums in the island I'm from. from. It's coming through enough, enough niggas. I'm not enough guns. That was <laughs> I edited it. Edit. Yes, that was dope. That was a duet. Thanks. So that's why I'm just a guest and stop he's the, the host. Right now because yeah, that's, we're not going to get any better than that. You know? <laughs> Signing off. This is Liam from Cancer Bats. Thanks for awesome. having me on the show. Thank you, man. Michael. Cheers. Yeah.